Did you know? The first cards banned were Anti cards and Shaharazad. Anti was not allowed in sanctioned tournaments because it did not work within the confines of tournament play. How so? Well, for the uninitiated, Anti was a way for players to earn prizes by having each player randomly put one card from their deck into the Anti Zone. The winner of that game takes all cards in the Anti Zone and permanently keeps them. Organized play was not instituted during Magic's initial release, so Anti was a way to up the stakes. However, once the very first tournaments were instituted, Anti cards were removed due to logistical reasons. For Shaharazad, its reason for being banned was much different. The card essentially starts another subgame of Magic. When the subgame ends, the loser has their life total reduced in half. Having Shaharazad legal in sanctioned play would take too long, as one game of Magic could end up being two or more games instead. So Shaharazad being illegal made sense. A card that was strangely set to restricted in the very first banned and restricted announcement was Orkish Orlaflem. For those who don't know what restricted is, it means only one copy of the restricted card can be played in a deck. We do not know the exact reason why this red enchantment was restricted, but we think it's because the alpha version of Orkish Orlaflem had a casting cost of one generic and one red mana, while all other versions had it at three generic and one red mana. Magic corrected the error, and the red enchantment was marked off the restricted list just a couple of months after the initial announcement. Speaking of restrictions, the very first banned and restricted list was not for any particular format. Back then, there was no vintage or standard. However, when standard was created in 1995, the format only had restrictions. Bans were later introduced alongside restrictions. The first card banned in standard was Channel, followed shortly by Mind Twist. However, Magic removed restrictions from Standard, only allowing bannings in the format. In the winter of 1998 and 99, new cards from Urza's Saga brought in a slew of incredibly powerful and game-changing combo decks. In fact, that period was notoriously dominated by combo decks, so much so that it was coined Combo Winter. These combo decks were so fast and unstoppable that Magic's only action was to start banning cards. Their first step was the bannings of Telerian Academy and Windfall in December 1998. However, this did not stop the madness. So, another, larger banning occurred at the next announcement in March of 1999. This time, Magic thought they solved Standard's combo problem, but Memory Jar only being out for a month would undo all their efforts. With the bannings already announced, Magic could not wait for another announcement date and had to ban Memory Jar on the spot. This created the very first emergency ban. Of course, it would not be the only emergency banning. About 20 years later, another emergency ban occurred. When Aether Revolt released on January 20th, 2017, it introduced Felidar Guardian. Coupled with Sahili Rai, a planeswalker from the Kaladesh expansion, the player could create infinite copies of Felidar Guardian. All the player needed was to activate Sahili's minus two ability to create a copy of Felidar Guardian. That copy then blinks Sahili Rai resetting the Planeswalker's loyalty counters and activation for the turn. The player would repeat this process as many times as they wanted, and since all copies had haste, they would attack that turn for the win. This two-piece combo was very easy to assemble, and the deck became a formidable force. In fact, the deck was so popular it had a nickname, Copycat. Copycat dominated the standard format, and when the next banned and restricted announcement came, the Magic community expected at least one of the two combo pieces to be banned. But no cards were banned. Magic R&D wanted to see how the meta would play out with the release of Amonkhet, but their decision was poorly received. After a couple of days of gathering data from an early release of Amonkhet on Magic Online, Magic R&D concluded that Copycat was still too oppressive, 
and they retroactively banned Felidar Guardian just a few days after their initial announcement. Flipping a coin has always been featured on a card since the earliest days of Magic. However, flipping a card only lasted for the first couple of years. Chaos Orb and Falling Star, two cards that have an ability that let you flip it, became restricted in 1994 and then banned in 1995. The reason wasn't because they were powerful cards, it was due to the way the card's abilities were being played. Both Chaos Orb and Falling Star require the player to flip them from a height of at least one foot and have the card flip at least once when tossed or else the effect of the card is negated. And once the card lands, its effect occurs only to all cards it touches. A very confusing mess. Both cards were removed from sanctioned play. However, before their exit, a player managed to win a tournament by playing their Chaos Orb in a very unique way. Chaos Orb says, flip the card onto the playing area from a height of at least one foot. When it lands, any cards in play that touches it are destroyed. There was a player who won the finals of a tournament by ripping his Chaos Orb into several pieces and sprinkling them all over his opponent's cards. This meant all cards the orb touched would be destroyed. This story was so infamous among the community that it inspired the creation of the unglued card, Chaos Confetti. That's all we have for this episode. There are still lots more to cover on banned and restricted cards, so we'll return to this topic again at a later time. This has been Ruben Bressler voicing this episode. You can follow me on social media at M-O-X-R-E-U-B-Y. You can also catch me on Magic Mics, live on Wednesday nights at twitch.tv slash magicmics and Twitter at magicmicscast, with VODs and our popular weekly top tens on coolstuffinc.com. You can also catch me on Ravnica, The Broken Pact, the Dungeons & Dragons live play crossover show with Magic the Gathering using the brand new Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica on twitch.tv slash dnd and twitch.tv slash saving throw show with VODs available on the D&D YouTube channel. This video was produced by CoolStuffInc.com, a website that sells magic singles and sealed products. Make sure to support the show by visiting CoolStuffInc.com and see what they have to offer. Thank you for watching.